Okay, I'm super excited about this. Today I'm gonna to be doing another painting recreation. Uh, so I have colored contacts in. Uh, I'm not gonna be talking through like every step cause you guys know, just wanted to let you know I'm not naked. Um, so I am recreating this artwork by Alexandre Montiero. Uh, he's on TikTok and Instagram. As far as I know, I'm gonna link all of his stuff down like in the description and um, also in my pinned comment. You should definitely check him out because look at how freaking beautiful this is. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Uh, I bought these elf ears, dude, so cute. Uh, I'm gonna link all of the products, uh, like all the main products down below. I'll link these elf ears because they were actually like pretty adorable um, and they worked relatively well. This is my first time ever like using something like this. So, you know, but anyway, so I'm starting, I'm, I'm kind of like handling my base the way that I typically would. So um, like as far as my um, skin prep goes, I'm actually wearing sunscreen. Like I did my regular like skincare routine and I'm wearing sunscreen, which to be completely honest, kind of like probably affected this a little bit, a little um, while later, like I had a little bit of oil coming through, whatever. So probably not for like a creative thing, you know what I mean? Um, but like, yeah, my base is essentially going to be like, I'm using foundation, I'm using concealer. Uh, I'm kind of like using the painting image, obviously. You can see me like looking back and forth as a reference to see like, okay, where are the lights? Uh, where are the darks, whatever, um, on top of like, obviously like concealing, you know, my under eye circles and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm using like multiple concealers, going back and forth, checking out like highlights and blah, 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 whatever. Um, and then she, like the image is very red, but I was thinking that I was going to do like some nice layering, like I typically do with my makeup anyway. So I decided to just use, rather than using like a contour color, since the image itself is very warm, I decided to just go, do, go in and do my like contouring with scrolling, I'm like <laughs> rolling away from my computer, um, with my bronzer. So this is the NYX one, Wonder Stick. I think it's like light or whatever. So I'm like laying in all of those, like uh, st the structure essentially to the face using this nice warm color. And I'm going to layer like this sort of like red tone later on when I go in with powder. Have you guys, okay, when I'm looking at this, have you guys seen the movie Galaxy Quest? Cause I totally look like one of those like little aliens that like look really cute and then they like murder everybody. No? <laughs> um, yeah, especially here, dude. Okay, so this is like, probably the most fun that I've had in a really long time. Like that other painting recreation was super fun, but like this was probably my favorite. And I've never, I was just talking to my boyfriend about this last night. I was like, I've never really like been interested in cosplay. Like it's just not really like my thing. And I know a lot of people have asked me to do it, but like, dude, this was so fun. I could totally get behind that. Like just saying. The eyebrows were actually really fun too and like pretty easy to do. Like I, I was able to cheat that angle pretty well, those Spock brows, you know? And then for like the cut, the cut in the brow, I just went in with, I think it's like a House Labs, one of those House Labs eye paints because I thought it would be a little thicker than concealer and that seemed to like work relatively well. Uh, I always keep like really dark eyebrow pencils just in case I want to do like this kind of thing, you know? But yeah, as far as like the face products, I'm like, I'm not using anything like any like special effects stuff. I'm like, essentially, I'm not using paint or anything like that. I'm using like regular like concealers and powders and all that stuff. Like right now I'm going with my Makeup Forever HD. And then that, I think that's the Sassy Sienna's palette by Dose of Colors. First of all, I forgot about Dose of Colors. I don't know how, but I found that palette because I was looking for something that would be like more red that I could use to contour. I found that palette and those colors are so beautiful. Anyway, yeah, the one that I, I was definitely trying to like blend those ears a little bit. I do kind of wish I had some, I don't know what they use, like a liquid latex or whatever to make it like more smooth with your skin. So I don't know, maybe if we continue this kind of thing, I'll take it a little bit more seriously. But uh, you know, I feel like it worked pretty well. The thing about these creative looks, if you're ever trying something like this, is please don't be afraid to like layer products. I went back and forth with like powder and then in with like a sponge to blend and um, 
you know, I just went in like, there's, it's just like a lot of back and forth because it's essentially like painting, right? Like when you're painting or if you're drawing, like there's a lot of back and forth, dude. You, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm just not as good or like um, meticulous. I like, I kind of like the messy aspect of it. I personally think that like going back and forth with like a lot of different products, I feel this way with painting as well, creates like a really nice depth to the, uh, to the overall look. <laughs> I have to say, I was filming this for so long. Uh, it took a lot longer than I was expecting it to. I think this is the Juvia's Place Culture Palette. Um, so yeah, just, I don't know, whatever. Like following all of the colors within the actual image. And then I'm using this House Labs, eye, uh, uh, sorry, brow pencil to sketch out the eyes. Uh, I will say that like I, I was debating for a while like should I do the eyes first should I do the base first and I, I you know obviously did my base first kind of wish that I had done my eyes because I did go in with a shadow on top of um, the blue paint that I go in with which is obviously like about face we'll get there in a second I went in with a shadow from the Juvia's Place palette to set all of that and I definitely got fallout which wasn't like it didn't ruin anything it wasn't super obvious because i did set my face with a powder and i was able to like dust some of it away um but yeah i, I don't know i kind of wish if you're ever going in with like vibrant shadows and you have to go in with a lot of them <laughs> you might want to do your eyes first but whatever shiseido yellow pencil house labs about face blue paint which was kind of perfect. I don't know how, but somehow this, um, you can see that I like painted my nails blue. Somehow like everything kind of just came together so perfectly uh, for this look. Like I had all of the perfect colors. I had all of the perfect products. It just like, it just worked, you know? Uh, I ordered obviously the elf ears um, and then like the, some earrings and some sunglasses for to like put together the final look, which you'll see at the end. But yeah, I like had everything else. It just like worked so perfectly. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Oh, I'm now I'm going in with that shadow, uh, which again, like just can just keep in mind. My base was like my regular skincare, my like daily skincare with like sunscreen. <laughs> like it wasn't. It, I didn't plan necessarily. Um, ooh, and then this was just like a little touch for me. I wanted to create like a little bit of a halo, like glow to the lid. So I'm going in with like this turquoise color all over it, which is pretty. And then I'm using this House Labs uh, paint. And then I got these brushes. I think I talked about these. I got these brushes on Amazon because I needed like something that was gonna be better for this kind of thing. Uh, and they're really good. They're, they come with like a bunch of different lengths. I'll uh, once again, try to link it down below. Um, but that was really good for this. Obviously working with like larger, dude, I'm so bad at this kind of thing. I need like a different camera setup for the creative looks cause I'm like looking down into a mirror and then I'm just like, I basically just disappear. Um, but I have to say butterfly eyes are probably some of my absolute favorite looks. Like I did one a while back that was, I just did, I think I just did it on like TikTok. Wait, did I do it on YouTube? I don't even remember. I think it was just like a little fun experiment situation. Not the one that I did kind of recently, like when I moved, but this was like back in my old apartment. Um, it was the first time I've ever done it and it was so beautiful, so beautiful. I loved that look so much. I posted it on TikTok, I, I think. Um, but yeah, butterfly eyes are just like probably one of the, just the best looks ever. Like they just are, they're just like the best creative looks ever. Um, this like eyeliner, this is the new House Labs, or sorry, this might've been like a, a special edition House Labs liner. Um, I'm actually dipping that liner because it was kind of drying out into the House Labs paint, uh, but just using the eyeliner. And then this guy is from Lime Crime. Nice little white liner. I have to say I like stuck very, I was trying to be as meticulous as possible um, as far as like the detail went with the actual like artwork. So I sometimes I'll like adjust, you know, deviate a little bit to make it a little bit more flattering for me. And um, I just basically like followed it 100%. Yeah, this is just a black shadow. Blah, blah, blah. I did some cleanup with some concealer. Again, saying like I went in with powder, but now I'm going in with like a liquid concealer to, to do some cleanup because I mean, I'm a painting. <laughs> uh, the dots, I think were all 
uh, about face paints. I use yellow, this kind of like pinky color, and then the purple on the end. Just with like a liner, obviously like a liner brush, but that is probably some of the best like detail, you know, just like really makes those eyes pop. Yeah, I don't know, it was very intricate. It was super intricate. It really took so much longer than I thought. But obviously now I'm going in with like all of the finishing touches, like those details, like, cause I, I don't know if he did this painting digitally. It kind of looks like it's digital, but it's in a watercolor like style or whatever. So he went in with like, you know, a watercolor base or those like colors as the base and then kind of like pencil or whatever on top um, for that detail. And then I realized like she's way more red than I am. <laughs> so I started going in with more red and then an actual blush on my cheeks because the uh, the eyeshadow was just like a little bit too pigmented. So I'm using Dior and just making sure that everything is soft. So taking it like all over the face to kind of just like blend. And then I have these house labs, sorry, house labs. Oh my God, everything. House of lashes, lashes. I don't, I can't remember what they, what the style is, but I'll link them. And I just chopped them up to um, create the effect that the lashes have in the painting. Obviously, that's what I'm going for. Once again, really good at staying on camera. Uh, and I just used like various lash glues. I think I used the House of Lashes lash glue. And then I'm going in with the um, REM Beauty Mascara just to kind of like blacken up my, uh, la my natural lashes. And then I used three different melt lip liners to get the right color. So this kind of like pale peachy pink, and then I'm outlining with like kind of a, I don't know, more of a, like a maroon, maroony brown. And then I end up going in with like more of a, um, like a hot red to just create a little bit more depth. Cause you kind of like see that in the, uh, in the image. And then, I don't know, I'm doing some blending with shadows. Once again, you know, creative looks, do whatever you want. I lightened up a little bit with again, an eyeshadow. And then I threw down some highlights, those key highlights with that Lime Crime a white eyeliner is just like a necessity in my opinion for especially like creative looks um and creating those like highlights on the lips were just like such a nice finishing i love the one on my nose though it's so cute i want to be able to like just wear this as regular makeup uh and then extending those smile lines that was a big one i almost forgot to do it i was like getting my hair ready to go and i was like you know you always gotta look back make sure you're not missing anything um and these earrings dude i found these earrings on amazon I just Googled, uh, Googled. I searched um, butterfly earrings. They're like exactly the ones she's wearing in the picture. It's so fucking crazy. Uh, it all came together like so beautifully, ma'am. I just like absolutely love this look. Like, look at that. I can't, I, I have to say this type of stuff, like where I'm wearing a lot of makeup, it's usually very uncomfortable for me, but I fell in love with this. I didn't want to remove it. I was like walking around my apartment, like taking videos, whatever. And then these sunglasses also from Amazon. Um, I was able to get them like literally two day delivery or one day delivery or whatever. So dope. I had so much fun creating this. Please go check out Alexandre Montero. He's amazing. His like stuff is really cool. I believe he's into music as well. So go show some support. Uh, and please thank you. Oh, thank you to whoever sent this to me on Twitter, by the way. Uh, and please send me more because I want to do more of this.